Good afternoon from Malacca, Malaysia. I am currently in what is the most historical part of this city. What this city is actually known for. Um, forgive me for wearing my glasses, it is just very sunny. I usually like to look you guys in the eyes, but uh, the sun is really, really beaming today, and uh, which is great. Makes for a great video to be able to show you guys this historical uh, part of Mala uh, Malacca, Malaysia. Um, and really the significance of what this is, is uh, a church. Now, to give you a quick background, a quick context as to uh, the history of Malacca. So, as some of you may have seen in my previous video, the original people who tried to settle and colonize this city were actually the Portuguese and they were here in the 16th century and following Portuguese rule uh, before the British came it was actually the Dutch that came here around the 17th century and when they came here they built their own structures and one of them was this church which is and this clock tower as you can see so a lot of this um, this red buildings that I'm, I'm gonna show you in a little bit were built originally by the Dutch and so what's crazy about this place is that three different people tried to colonize excuse me this music these bikes here are so obnoxious with their music but people like it but um yeah so the crazy thing about this uh place is that there was three different nations that tried to colonize or take settlement or take over this area and the reason why malacca is so such an important place and all these countries really wanted to take a strong hold here was because I mentioned it before in a previous video is that it was the most important shipping port or a very important strait that they had here to bring goods in and out of Southeast Asia so before Singapore uh, before you know cities in China that have big ports like Shanghai or uh, Guangzhou uh, this was one of the most important ports in Asia was uh, the city of Malacca so that's why many nations were trying to take over this uh, this place uh, mainly because of the trade to be the ability to be able to trade goods easily and so yeah uh, as you can see this is this is this is actually newer obviously this I love Malacca sign um, but yeah guys as you can see this is really really beautiful here so all of these structures that you're seeing in red um, were all built by the Dutch and I believe they were built around 1741 so um, forgive me a lot of the history I give you guys is not uh, you know super concise but I try to make it as accurate as possible because in fact it at the end of the day it is bro history <laughs> so uh, I try to give you guys as much as I can uh, as far as like, you know, accuracy and things like that. But maybe I'm not the best at explaining uh, historical things, but I do love history. But sometimes I'm just not the best at explaining it. But um, yeah, so this is actually the Christ Church that was built in, uh, well, started being built in 1741. And I think around, as you can see right there, it says 1753. That's when uh, the church was actually finished being built. So. This area has now been obviously commercialized like everything else in the world um, but at the time uh, this was the uh, religious center for the Dutch people. Now another significant thing about this church is that it is still the only and the largest operating Protestant church in Malacca, uh, sorry in Malaysia I should say. Um, oh my god, this bike. Look at this. I mean, who would want to be sitting something that loud? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just getting old. But I, I, I can't even talk over that music. But yeah. So, it is the oldest Protestant church and still running. So, they still have Mass on Sundays. They have it in um, uh, Mandarin and they also have it in English. So, they have two Masses on Sundays. And so the Protestant people who still reside in Malaysia still come here to uh, worship. But yeah, as you can see, they're painted red. Now, I believe originally they were painted white, but I think somewhere around the British rule, uh, they were painted red just to signif signify 
the uh, importance of them. You know, they should stand out from the rest of the city. And that they do. I mean, when you come here, you know that you're in a place that is very, very historical. I'm going to give you guys a little walk around this area and show you what it kind of looks like. Uh, this is actually my first time really walking through this area during the daytime and being able to actually see uh, the beauty of the architecture. So, I mean, for any of you who are familiar with architecture, this is very uh, Dutch, uh, Dutch-like architect, 18th century Dutch-like architecture. You can see from the windows and the shapes are all very rectangular uh, for the most part. And um, yeah, so if you go, if you go to any Dutch ruled nation, you'll see architecture that looks similar to this. Um, and this is known as the clock tower. Um, this actually is like a point of uh, meeting for this whole city. So if somebody tells you the clock tower, that's kind of like, it's like the central point for, for uh, this Malacca. Now, um, the thing about this church is I would love to show you guys the inside, but unfortunately they do not let you uh, take uh, cameras inside so I will go inside myself but I won't be able to show you guys um, and it's it's only I mean some religious places allow you to go inside like I was able to show you the masjid but some uh, some religious places uh, do not allow you to enter with the camera so I won't be able to show you guys the inside but uh, definitely uh, definitely give you guys a roundabout on the outside now when you walk through this street right next to the uh, church here and you look at the uh, building that's parallel to it um, you can really feel like you, you almost feel like you're not in the year we are in the year of 2022 I, when I'm walking through the street I feel like I'm in old 18th century uh, Europe you know and so I guess that feeling for people here is very different I mean for me being from New York you know uh, a lot of our uh, buildings were built by either the Dutch or the English so um you know i for me it's not something new that i haven't felt before uh, a lot of the structures back home the historical places are very much similar to uh to this now like i told you before the english tried to colonize this after the dutch and the dutch did it after the portuguese so the portuguese were here in the 16th century they were the first settlers and i showed you that portuguese settlement um it was it's crazy because the people there still speak portuguese and they still have their roots tied to portugal um but obviously there was a long time ago so um yeah and now this is like a almost like a fort here as you can see very very large I mean when you stand next to this building you you feel small um, but yeah and then these are old uh, buildings that were now converted into what looks like uh, offices or or schools almost um, or medical offices but yeah really uh, really a sight to marvel at guys I mean if you come to Malaysia you really do have to come to Malacca it's a uh, it's absolutely stunning uh, and the history here is just uh, it's unprecedented and as we walk through this a little bit more you'll see these buildings uh, I think this was probably the original color um, before they painted uh, those red structures back there as you saw um, I think this was what they used to look like but as I mentioned later on um, probably during the British rule uh, they were painted red to signify uh, the fact that they are the most important uh, historical artifacts in this city but yeah the the architecture here is just amazing as I mentioned uh, in videos before I do love architecture I do love looking at architecture and and um, it's something for me that is uh, just I can literally just sit down and and look at cool structures and and just marvel at them and and yeah but if you are into old architecture and history it's definitely uh, something that you should you need to check out and now this is another church I'm, I, I think it's St. Francis it's called but another very historical church here I believe this is the Catholic Church so the other one that I showed you is the Protestant Church 
this is one of the few Catholic churches in this city because uh, there are there is a large Catholic population. So the people in the Portuguese settlement that are still here, they are uh, of Catholic uh, belief. They are uh, they follow the Catholic belief. But yeah, look at this church. It has those um, pane windows, those old uh, windows that you see on classic churches. I'm not sure, I can't remember what they're, what they're called, but yeah. Um, really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful church. So as you walk around, uh, these are also uh, painted red because they're still from here, from the Dutch time, from the 18th century, or from the 17th century, I should say. Um, and you can really see, this one is called the uh, Dutch Harbor Cafe. I mean, I'm sure this cafe has probably been here since that time. Hello! <laughs> People waving from the car. And uh, yeah, I mean, just like I said, a lot of beauty here. And then obviously a lot of these things have been turned into shops now. Like this one is a Bob Marley shop. Pretty cool. What's up, bro? <laughs> jam out, jam out! Yeah, so... Um, it's cool though, I mean, even though they've been turned into shops, it's cool that they've tried to uh, maintain the history here as, as much as you can, right? Because, you know, nowadays, uh, any good land, any land that tourists come to, people love to commercialize it and, and turn it into something that, uh, where they can make money, which I don't blame them, you know, uh, why wouldn't you? But when people at least preserve the structures and the architecture, it's, it's cool, man, pay homage to the, uh, the history here. It's a shame when they knock down structures like this, you know? Although it does symbolize a little bit of, I guess you could say, colonialism or, um, you know, a country trying to take over something that's not theirs. Um, I mean, you can appreciate the art and the architecture of things. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so everyone's very nice here. Now, look at this. I wonder if they had a 7-Eleven back when uh, the Dutch were here. I'm guessing not, but pretty cool. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is the square uh, where the clock tower is and where all the history is here. Um, and it's right by the river uh, over there, the River of Light, I think it's called, which I actually showed you guys in a previous video in the night cruise. Um, so it's really beautiful around here and so if you come to Malacca, you can't miss this really. This is the one of the main uh, things that you have to see if you do come to this city. Um, and I do recommend you coming to this city. There's, uh, you know, so much history and um, this country does have a lot of history. But this city in particular is one of the more historical cities. And you can see that from this, uh, from this architecture. So while I'm sitting here at this beautiful church, I met these awesome people from Indonesia. So this Ryan. my friend Ryan. Yes, I know Ryan. your name. What's your name? Yes, Ryan. My name is Dwi. Dwi? Dwi. And? Adi. Adi? Ali. Junita. 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 Very nice. Ali. Ali. How are you? Silfi. And you guys are all family or friends? or? Friend. Friends, very nice. Okay, so this uh, awesome friends here, they're trying to, they're actually helping me to figure out which places I should go to in Indonesia. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. So maybe when I go to Indonesia, I will see you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how long are you guys in uh, uh, Malacca for? How, how much? How many days are you in Malacca? Just, Just, one. Just one day. Just one. Oh, okay, and, okay, okay. Uh, we are going to Kuala Lumpur after this. After, after this you go to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, yeah. So you've never been to Kuala Lumpur before or? Already. You've been there before. Yeah. Before I came here, I was in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so you guys are all traveling together. Yeah. Together. So one, two, three, four, five, six people. Seven, oh, seven. Eight, 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 eight. oh, seven and eight. Oh, how are you, bro? I didn't meet you. Yeah. He's shy. He don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> so yeah, guys, these, these people are so nice. So you guys will be in my video for this church. I made a video about the church, but this same video, you guys will also be in it. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to sign out here. I just wanted to show you guys these friends that I made. 
Awesome. Not cool. senpai. Awesome. <laughs> how do you say uh, how do you say goodbye in Indone in Indonesia? Goodbye. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Surabaya. <laughs> Surabaya. Oh yeah, where are you guys from in Indonesia? Surabaya. 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 So I'm gonna go to Surabaya. Now I have friends from there. So maybe I will see you guys when I go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm gonna sign out on this one. Uh, I hope I was able to give you guys somewhat of a good idea and a synopsis of what the history of this area in Malacca is. And, um, you know, I do my best to try to explain history. Like I said, it might be bro history, but I think I give you guys a, a good explanation, in my eyes at least. To give you guys a final view, this is, uh, this is the whole square here. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth without leaving your comfort zone. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.